Uh, currently, we have 3,616 uh, positive cases. That's up 720 from uh, last week of 2,896. We currently have 674 active cases, and that's up by 219 cases. We have 2,101 people who have tested positive and recovered. We currently have 26 people in the hospital, and that's a scary one. That's up 16 from last week. We have our 21st death, and this is a tough one because I know the person, uh, up one from last week. And the negative test numbers came down quite a bit by 15,000. And this is a change in the way that uh, we, we calculate this number, and I'll explain that shortly. A number of weeks ago, the Sheboygan County Division of Public Health provided some guidance as to how to trick or treat safely. Since that original guidance was sent out, a lot has changed in our local data and the positive case burden rate in our county. Between September 9th and 22nd, Sheboygan County had an average of 19 positive cases a day over a two week period. Our burden rate was 270 positive cases per 1,000 residents. In that two week period, Sheboygan County had a high activity level. Over the last two week period, from September 30th through uh, October 15th, Sheboygan County had an average of 56 positive cases a day. Our burden rate is currently 782 positive cases per 1,000 residents. This is a 290% increase in positive cases per 1,000 residents and has moved Sheboygan County into a very high activity level. On October 6th, public health, in collaboration with a number of our health care systems and the business community, issued a public health emergency. On Friday, October 16th, based on this large increase in cases in Sheboygan County, the Division of Public Health has issued a formal recommendation to the community that trick-or-treating is not currently recommended. Additionally, Aurora Healthcare's uh, pediatrician group also issued a formal statement which specifically recommends against trick-or-treating within the Sheboygan community. Because of the number of positive cases, our local schools starting today are only holding virtual classes for the next two weeks. And due to the change in the number of positive COVID-19 cases, this new direction from the public health officer that trick-or-treating and Halloween is not currently recommended, the city of Sheboygan will rescind the previous notice that trick-or-treating can proceed with safety measures. And again, follow the directive of the public health department to recommend against trick-or-treating this Halloween. This week, you will notice a change in the number of negative cases in the reports. Since the tracking of COVID-19 cases began, the Sheboygan County Public Health Department has counted every test that has been administered. This means that if one patient had three tests prior to a positive test, there were four te tests altogether that were recorded. The state of Wisconsin has tracked the negative test differently by tracking only the final results for every individual. So if the four tests described above would only register as one negative test until a subsequent positive test uh, came in. This is the reason that the negative test results have contracted so much this last week because of the change in this reporting method. The recent increase in positive no COVID-19 cases has caused the highest number of patients in the area hospitals since the pandemic began. The current hospitalizations at Aurora and St. Nicholas have filled the COVID units that they have. Both hospitals um, are, are only between them. There's only two beds in the, in, in, in the ICU that are left available. Remember to always wear a mask, keep social distance, wash your hands, and do that often. <laughs>